Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to be creating our still life of apples that's inspired by Paul Cezanne. We're going to begin by creating a drawing on a long skinny piece of paper with three apples on them. You're going to use a black crayon or a dark crayon and an apple tracer and trace around the apple three times. When you're tracing, make sure you're using your helper hand and that black crayon is hugging along the outside edge of your tracer. You're going to need to fit three apples on your paper, so make sure when you're starting your first apple, it goes all the way over to the side. If you happen to go off of your tracer, don't worry, just hop back over to where your crayon belongs, try again. When you're done, write your name on the back so we know whose it is. Now we're going to begin painting our apples. You're each going to get what we call a messy mat. Yours might look much more messy than mine is and it helps keep our tables clean. You're also each going to be getting a paintbrush that has the handle and the bristles. You're going to hold your paintbrush like you would a pencil. And then you're going to dip the bristles into the paint. Notice how I only have paint on the bristles. The first thing I'm going to do when I begin painting is take my paintbrush for a walk around the outside edge of my apple. I'm trying to stay inside of those black lines, but if I go outside a little bit, it's okay. I'm going to keep filling in the outside first, and then when I'm ready to paint the inside, I'm going to dip my paintbrush in paint and make big long brush strokes up and down, up and down to fill in all of the white areas. I can smooth my paint out a little bit and then when I'm done, I might find that I have extra paint on my brush. I'm gonna take my paintbrush on the top of my messy mat and wipe off all of the extra paint. The next thing I'm going to do is get some red paint and I'm going to paint my second apple. Again, notice how there's only paint on the bristles of the brush. I outline my apple all along those black edges. When my paintbrush gets a little bit scratchy, it means I'm running out of paint. So I need to pick up more paint from my paint palette or my paper plate. Keep dipping the paint brush in the paint a little bit at a time. Do your outline first and then use big brush strokes in the center to fill in that white. Notice how I'm going up and down, up and down. Once I'm done with this, I'm once again going to wipe off any extra paint on my messy mat right up top Get off as much as you can. You might not be able to get off all of it, but that's okay. The last apple is going to be a combination of yellow and red. Notice how first I'm going to scoop up a little bit of yellow. And as I paint, something magical happens. The red that was on my brush from the last apple is mixing with the orange, the yellow paint, and I'm getting a beautiful orange color. Notice though I go back and forth the same way, back and forth. I can pick up a little bit more yellow paint. I might want it to be a little bit more red so I could pick up a little bit of red paint, but I'm filling in the whole apple. One side looks a little bit more red to me. I'm gonna wipe off my brush a little bit to get off any extra paint so I could pick up a little bit more red because I want the left side of my apple to be a little bit darker or more red. I'm not going to blend it in all the way though because I really like how that apple has many different colors in it. I see some yellow, I see some orange, and I see some red. Anytime you wanna take new paint, wipe your brush off on the messy mat. Have fun painting today, and when you're all done, you're going to wipe your brush again on the messy mat. You're going to put your paintbrush in the bathtub, and then you're going to put your paintings on the drying rack. Have fun painting your apples, artists. 